what is the process to, let's say, take that customer who it didn't work out with you, and now take them through the process of potentially doing something that, you know, maybe we, we don't necessarily love to do, but almost right. doing a little hand-holding and giving mm -hmm. them from your, your team to a competitor's team. You know, what is something that look, so, something like that, what does it look like? You know, what kind of approach do you go in there? Do you talk to the MSP first? Do you give them a heads up? Do you talk to the customer? You know, what is the, the yeah. timeline like for that? And what are the different protocols? Well, let me just kind of walk through, you know, the most recent one that I can remember. And, and I say this, you know, this doesn't happen very often. So when I, when I talk through this, people might be thinking, gosh, they're firing people all the time. And, and honestly, we're not. In fact, I think in the last 12 months, I can only think of maybe two companies that we've had to end up letting go. Um, but the, the process, you know, typically we go in and we sit down. This is like our second or third conversation. The client success managers have tried everything that they can do to resolve the, the conflicts and we just can't do it. And so we, our, all of our agreements have a 60 day uh, out clause that our client or us can exercise at any time. And we do that um, so that, you know, it's equitable for everybody involved that, you know, we have the same get out of jail card that they have in case things aren't working out. But we don't just pull the plug and say, well, you have 60 days to find a new provider. Good luck. We go in, we sit down, we have the conversation and we tell them, okay, you know, over the course of the next 60 days, we're going to help you transition to your new provider. And we even go in with the list of our competitors. Um, and it's not something that is malicious, like, ha ha, we're going to give this really crappy client to this competitor. A lot of times <laughs> I'll even reach out to that competitor and say, you know, we have this client that it's just not working out for us. And they might ask some questions as to what some of our struggles were. Um, and, you know, we'll be very forthright with them. And, you know, if they want to take on the business, we put them on the list. And then we turn it over to the, uh, to the company to say, here's some people that you can, you can reach out to. And we let them make that, that initial, you know, that initial contact. We don't, we don't, you know, send an email saying, hey, Topher, this is Bob. Bob, this is Topher. Good luck. It's, you know, we give them the list and let them kind of do their due diligence. But then once, you know, once they've selected a new provider, I can't stress enough is to be, um, be responsive and, you know, be willing and open to working with that new provider to, to give up any information that they need. That's obviously not proprietary to your own business, but you're working with that client's information. Those are their passwords. Those are their switches. You know, now in some cases you might be doing hardware as a service and it's not their switches, but when that new provider reaches out to you, be willing to work with them. Because at the end of the day, remember that that golden rule is, is you took that business thinking that you were going to help that company become more successful. And if you try to get in the way of the transition, number one, you look like a jerk. And number two, you're going against what I think is, you know, the code of ethics, which is you're not trying to make that company more successful. You're trying to hinder them. And that's just, that's just dirty pool. So, you know, we tell them for that 60 days, we're going to work with them to help them transition over to that new provider. Um, and then at the end of the 60 days, you know, typically by then the new provider's in, all of their new tools are in place, all the passwords have been shared over. And for the most part, we don't get too many calls after that 60 day period because we were willing to work with that new provider during that time. 